this is our oil pump and pull it out just kind of show you how it works you can see it goes up into the case it's hooked up by this spigot along with this o-ring that's already damaged for some reason and it works by gyrotors is what they're called it's like gears and the first one is your feed gear it's the smallest one and it works by this spinning and generating pressure which moves the oil through the motor and you want to make sure these go in the same way so I'm going to put this one face down then we have a spacer that goes behind that you've got a spring washer it's called a spring washer because it creates a spring because it's kind of a wavy followed by one more spacer I can get it out. There we go. Spacer, and then this is our return gear. And our return gear is much bigger because we want it to scavenge as, as much oil as possible once it gets back to throw it back into the oil tank. And once you have this apart, it's not a bad idea to take a look, make sure no metal fragments have gone through the, uh, the oil pump, make sure there's no gouges in the pump body. Make sure there's nothing damaged in the, the gyrotor gears. These ones all look okay. Look like we're in good shape. So I'll put these back together. You want to make sure you put some good amount of assembly lube in there because when you first fire it up again, it's kind of dry because we've just pulled all the oil out of it. Make sure it's as lubricated and, and, uh, and oily as it can be so uh, you don't have any startup problems. So after I put that back together, uh, I'll put that back in, and then uh, we're going to remove the cam bearings there in the back of the case.